Ivan Katz here at Giles Run, a very famous course in the D.C. area at Lorton, which used to be a prison, and it's 4,300 feet long, 18 holes, par 57 for the red tees, which I'm going to be playing today, and it's known for its tough out of bounds with thorns, so you have to be very careful, stick to the fairways, or else you can lose a disc or hurt yourself trying to find a disc. So I'm going to talk about which discs I'm throwing, why I'm throwing them, how I'm throwing them. I throw most of my drives with the forehand flick, so I'll talk about that as opposed to the backhand shot. All right, let's get started. Number one is a par three, 189 feet, and straight ahead with only some trees off to the right that could potentially pose a problem. I'm thinking a banshee should be good for this shot. It tends to throw straight for me. Let's see. Okay, so that banshee was a nice throw. Very straight and then just a fade off to the right at the end as expected, putting me about 12 feet away from the basket. I'm gonna put it in with a Vibram Summit. Okay, number two, 250 feet. Basically a straight shot, but a whole lot of rough on the way. And you don't want to get tangled up in that, so you want to make sure you make it. I'm thinking the destroyer should be good for this shot. Okay, nice drive with the destroyer. And you'll notice that I threw it really with a little bit of Anheuser because that's a disc that tends to curve off to the right. For me and most people too so you want to throw it flat to a bit of hyzer to get it to go straighter and that's what i did here got the distance i needed about eh, 18 20 feet from the bathroom put it in with the vibram summit okay number three looks easy because it's short just 180 feet but as you can see, there's a slope. And if you come out here, and curve off, you're in trouble. So you've got to stay either straight at the basket or for me, curve around this way. Of course, other players that throw backhand can curve around this way, end up here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw straight at the basket. The Cobra. Okay, I'm about 15 feet from the basket. I'll put it in with a Vibram Summit. Okay, number four, 299 feet and certainly a tight fairway with a hill also. Now, I'm going to be going for this basket right up here. You can barely see it because it's obscured by these trees, but pretty tough. So, you've definitely got to try to stay the course and not get involved in any of these areas off to the right or the left. A tough shot. The Viking. Okay, nice drive to the top of the hill with the Viking, thrown very straight. And now I'm outside of 10 meters, that's 33 feet. That's the circle. That means I can jump when I put if I want to but I'm not gonna do that. In this case, I'm just gonna try to put it in with my 86. Okay, number five is a par three, 190 feet. Not easy though, because you've got out of bounds here and some right here too. So you've got to throw the distance and then in my case, you know, kind of curve around this way. Very tough shot for the backhand here. You definitely want to have a flick for this one or you want to be able to throw very, very straight. Let's see if I can get there with the Cobra. Okay, it got a little hairy there on the right-hand side, hit some of that brush, but it went very straight and even tapered off to the left a little bit. The Cobra, nice straight disc. I'll put it in with 86. Okay, number six, very straight, 213 feet. You have to worry about rolling down this hill, and that's pretty much my major concern. So I just want to throw as straight as possible, 
and get there. I've had good results here with the Viking before. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the Viking nice and straight, with a little taper off to the right at the end as expected. 86. Okay, number seven is tough, 258 feet, and it's kind of a dog leg left there. So, tough shot for the flick. Let's see what we can do. Looks like the ideal shot for the Hex Rakitan. Actually rolled past it. So interesting throw with the Hex Rakitan actually landed over here and turned into a roller and rolled right over here a nice close distance to the basket. So sometimes discs that tend to turn over they make good rollers and if you learn how to control that then you can get some great distance. Check out my other video on how to throw a roller for that but meanwhile I'm going to put this on in with 86. Number eight looks easy, but unfortunately, it's 277 feet and straight uphill. The king. Okay, nice roller from the king here. Rolled me up the hill and got me, well, close enough to make a very long putt but I'd say probably 90 feet or so. Tough. Champion team. Oh. Okay, hit it with the champion T-Bird. And a lot of people would question why I'm throwing a champion T-Bird about 100 feet or so. And it's because I know that if I throw it with a slight bit of Anheuser, Basically, it'll go and run straight at the target, and that's how I was able to get so close for the drop-in. So again, don't listen to everybody else. Throw what works for you. It doesn't matter what works for them. Most people would never throw a driver that distance. But again, discs are very personal, and everybody throws a different way, so choose discs that work for you. On to the next one. Okay, number nine. 268 feet straight, but there is a slope that way, so you have to be careful. Rakitan. Okay, good straight drive with my Hex Rakitan. Probably about 40 feet away. I'll go ahead and put it in. Rock three. Not just a good mid-range, sometimes a good putter too. Okay, number 10, 269 feet. And unfortunately, straight uphill with lots of hazards on either side. Starlight Foss. Okay, nice shot with the Starlight Boss, thrown with some Anheuser to keep it straight and got good distance there. Cobra. Almost made it with the Cobra. Kind of a mid-range, but I do like to use it for a putter sometimes, even throwing it with the flick or right there as I did with the backhand. Close, but no cigar. Easy far. On to the next one. 11. Nice and easy, 182 feet, but still hazards on both sides. The Banshee. Eleven. Nice and easy with the Banshee. Number 12 is definitely one of the most picturesque here at Giles. 195 feet and beautiful. Cobra. Beautiful shot with the Cobra, straight on through. I'll go ahead and put it in with it too. 
13 is also quite picturesque. Sometimes I have difficulty with this tree right here, but we'll see if I can scrape by today. 320 feet. Crank SS. All right, the Crank SS thrown with a bit of Anheuser to make sure it goes straight and probably about a hundred feet away here at least. Not easy. Pretty darn close with the Leopard. Unfortunately, that's only good for horseshoes. Now on to the next one. This one's pretty picturesque too. Number 14, 232 feet. Beautiful old barn. Be nice to restore. I'm a realtor actually, working out of the DC area and uh, I love restoring houses too and renovating them but unfortunately that is on private property parkland okay number 14 straight ahead 232 feet Rakuten Okay, nice straight shot with the Hex Rakuten. That's a new one that's become a staple in my bag. The Hex Rakuten. Now I'll punt it in with the 86. Okay, number 15, 217 feet, but lots of rough on either side and a slope too. Tough, gotta make sure you stay on the fairway. The Viking. Beautiful shot with the Viking. Number 16. This one is a lot of fun. 289 feet, but downhill. And you can get into a lot of trouble on the way. Crank SS. Beautiful shot with the Crank SS. Number 17, 168 feet. A little tricky because of the slope this way and that tree there, but at least it's short. Banshee. Nice shot with the Banshee. Okay, number 18. 270 feet and not easy because there's a bunch of trees in the way. The king. Nice roller. Nice shot with the king. Got a little roll on it too. Should be a makeable putt. Okay, so there you go. Around at Giles. Very difficult and a word about that. Now, no one's going to come out here and get this many birdies and that sort of thing. I'm shooting a video. I throw lots of shots and I want to highlight certain shots and certain discs. So, definitely don't expect to come out here and shoot all those birdies all the time. You will get birdies, you will get aces, but just keep at it anyway so throwing the discs and throwing them flat or with Heiser or with Anheuser and you can make these discs do anything now if I'm throwing a disc with Anheuser with a forehand flick that means you keep it at the same angle and that's the angle you want to throw at with the backhand same angle don't change a thing but for you it would be Heiser. All right, so there you go. You can make these discs do anything you want. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can see I have a Porsche 911 on my shirt. Well, I'm also driving Ivan. You can check out my car review videos. I have many, many of the Porsche 911. I have a vintage 911 SC. I reviewed that along with the 92 Carrera 4 Cabriolet that I used to have and the Porsche 911 Carrera 2000 
17 drove that on the track check out those videos and many more if you like cars of course watch all my disc golf videos as well and real estate videos thanks again for watching i'm ivan katz